Hey, 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 what's up, champions? Gediminas here. Welcome along to Financial Freedom TV. I hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Um, if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. And if you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, then please do say new in the comments because I'd love to welcome you to the tribe and say hello. And of course, if you do get some value, if you learn something from this video, feel free to share it because maybe somebody else will get some value too and learn something too. So uh, by sharing it, you're not just being selfish and learning to yourself, but you're also sharing the information with other people. Okay. Uh, hi, Ramunas. Hi, Rena. Hey, Louise. Thanks for jumping on. Nice to see you guys. Hope you're doing fantastically well. So today's title is what would you do not to talk to people? <laughs> now, I'll explain why. I'll explain why. Because I see it all the time in network marketing. And I know it so well because I used to be that person too. <laughs> so let's backtrack a little bit and think about why, why would talking to people be important? Well, in network marketing, we know that the only income producing activity, IPA, is when you're talking to somebody who can say yes and join your business or you're talking to somebody who can say yes and buy your product. That's the only income producing activity. Or you're helping your team member to recruit somebody, right? Like on a freeway call, that's also income producing activity. Everything else is not income producing activity. So there may be important things like doing personal development, you know, uh, learning about your products, you know, and a bunch of other things might be important in your business, but it is not income producing activity. Income producing activity is only when you're talking to somebody about your product or your business. Now, I'm, and I'm using talking loosely because like 30 years ago in network marketing, talking meant talking. Like literally you had to get on the phone or get out there and talk to people. Nowadays, of course, we are spoiled for choice because we have so much technology. So we can be sending voice, voice notes. We could be messaging people, typing messages. We can be Facebook messaging, WhatsApping, uh, you know, uh, doing all sorts of things. Right? We can use technology to communicate with people. So maybe instead of talking, I should be using communicating with people, right? So you should be the only time when you are making money, the only time when you're doing income producing activity is when you're communicating with somebody who can become part of your business or can become your customer, right? Now, if we know that, then of course, all network marketers should and do focus all of their time on communicating with people, right? Hey, Danielle. Hey, Paul. Hey, Irina. Hey, Aldude. Uh, hey, Sarah. Hey, N Nelson. N hey, Inga. Hey, Vanna. Thanks to see you guys. Right? Everybody just does that. <laughs> Not really. What I observed over the years and years of doing network marketing, that network marketers will do anything <laughs> so that they wouldn't have to talk to people. <laughs> so they will send blast emails, you know, and spam thousands of people, or they will put paid advertising out there, or they will do everything they can. They'll send text messages, you know, they'll, they'll do whatever they can in order not to talk to people, in order not to communicate with people, right? And if that's you, because I used to be that person, I would do anything just don't get me to talk to people. Just don't get me in direct communication, right? I will do anything not to talk to people. And of course, if, if you are that person, I want to encourage you to change your mindset because your progress will be so much slower. You will make so much less or so, I don't know how to say it correctly, English. You will make a lot less money you will struggle a lot more if you refuse to communicate with people. Because, you know, putting ads might be good. You know, putting leaflets through the doors may be good. Uh, putting, you know, uh, spamming groups, you know, and putting little, you know, recruiting posts into a bunch of different groups may work at some level. You know, all of these things might work at some level, but it will never work as good 
as meeting with somebody for a cup of coffee and talking to them about your business or calling somebody over the phone and saying, hey, would you take a look at my business or sending somebody a direct message and saying, hey, Pash, would you take a look at you know this thing? Maybe for you, maybe not for you, but I'm just curious. Would you be open to take a look at something? You know what I mean? So this is the most effective way to build your business. But a lot of people, and I love that, Misha, and that's why you're crushing it, right? You just started a business and you're already getting promotion after promotion because you love talking to people, right? Because you love communicating with people, because you're so social, right? But there's so many people who will hide behind all of this activity. That, oh, oh uh, today I'm reading the catalog. I'm learning all the ingredients by heart. Right. Oh no, today, today I'm doing personal development, right? So they'll do everything not to get out there and talk to people. But, and I, I, and I get it. I, I understand why, because most people are scared of rejection. They don't want to be rejected. They don't want people say, no, I'm not interested. No, get away from me. What, what is this cam? You know, or whatever, right? So most people don't want criticism. They want, don't want to be rejected. And that's why they become what we call network marketing secret agents. <laughs> so the I network marketing, they bought some products, they bought a sample kit, but they're not telling anybody. <laughs> they're just sitting and waiting for somebody to come and knock on their door and say, hey, I heard you doing this business. Could I join your team? Hey, I heard you selling these products. Could I buy some, right? They're just waiting for somebody to ask them for it, right? And of course, it doesn't work like that. So if you want to get results and if, if, if you've been that person up until now where you just did everything not to communicate with people, I want to encourage you to change that. I want to encourage you to start contacting people daily. You know, whether that's sending messages, if, if, if you skip the most effective way and there is no more effective way is talking to people face to face. That's the most effective way because that's what builds rapport. That's what builds relationships. That's what uh, shows that trust and, 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 and that's how people get to know you. Except, so that's the most effective way if, we, if you can either meet somebody face to face and speak to them or get on a video call and speak to them so they can see you. That's the most effective way, hands down, because this way they can feel your emotion. They can feel everything. If, 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 if you can't do that just yet, then go to this next step in and at least call people over the phone or send voice notes so they can feel your voice because with your voice, you can carry a smile, right? Like person may not see you, but they can feel that you're smiling when you're talking. You know what I mean? So you can still transfer your emotion much easily, easier via audio than it is via texting. But the worst case at least message people, at least message people daily. Like if you're serious about building this business, you should at least be messaging 30, 40 people a day. You know, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Snapchat, text message, whatever shape or form, Viber, WhatsApp, Telegram, whatever you're using, right? You should be reaching out to enough people. Why? Because it's a game of numbers. Like if you're sending one message a day, for you to get one out of one, that's really difficult odds. Like if you go to casino and you say, well, I'm only going to, you know, push the button once on the machine and it has to be the jackpot. It's much lower chance that that's going to happen than if you push that button a thousand times. One out of a thousand is much better odds. It's much bigger chance. So same with recruiting. No, hey, I've got some news. Most people not gonna buy from you. Most people not gonna join your business. Because if everybody bought and if everybody joined, why the hell would the company need you in the first place? They would just open the website, open the shop, and everybody would just flood in, right? The company knows that it's it takes work to find customers, to find distributors. That's why they pay you the money to do that, right? So so if you increase the number of contacts you're making, if you increase the number of calls or messages or meetings you're having, then you're increasing your chance of finding a good person. You're increasing your chance of finding the next leader in your team. 
Because if you're speaking to one, two or three people a day, then I bet you, you're convincing. Because you only got one person to speak to, then you're going to try to really convince them to join your business. And that's when you're going to come across as desperate. That's when you're going to come across as hopeless. That's when you're going to come across as pushy. And people will run away from you as fast as they can. They will definitely not join. It's like, you know, the cat and the string. If you keep moving the string, the cat will play with it the whole day. But if you drop the string in front of the cat, it'll go, <laughs> right? You're not going to be interested. People are same way. When you seek out people, they tend to get away from you. When you attract people, then they tend to come to you. And how do you attract? You attract people when you have posture, when you're not desperate. You know, I'm not talking posture about sitting straight. I mean, posture as in your energy, where you are the CEO of your business. You are building your empire. They are not choosing you, you are choosing them. You choosing who's going to be working with you and who's not. You are running your own business. You are building your own team, right? So imagine that the next person you recruit, you're going to be paying them £50,000 a year salary, whether they work or not. You will choose wisely. You will choose carefully. And you will interview 100 people before you hire one because you have to pay the salary. Now, I know in network marketing, people go, oh, but I don't have to pay any salary. If they don't do anything, they don't earn anything. So I'll just recruit everybody. Some people can really drain your energy. Some people can really cost you a lot of, <laughs> you know, even though you don't have to pay them, it's going to cost you. You know what I mean? So you change that posture to where now I'll consider whether I want to work with you. So when you change that posture, and if you're reaching out to enough people, if you're reaching out to 30, 40, 50 people a day, now you're not desperate for that one person to join your business. Oh, please, please, please join my business. Because you, you, in your head, you go, I've got another 49 people to talk to, right? So you're either in or you're out. You're either interested or you're not. Either you're open or you're not. You're open, great. Let me show you this amazing opportunity. I'd love to partner up with you and lock arms. You're not interested? No problem, mate. Have a great day, maybe in the future, you know, move on, move on. This way, you're not begging people to join your business. You know what I mean? So that's my tip for today, guys. Get away from the mindset of I don't want to talk to anybody. Get into talking to people, get into communicating with people and your business will explode. Have a great rest of your day, guys. If you got value from this, feel free to share it. Maybe somebody else will get some value too. And if you'd like a free ebook called How to Build a Part-Time Business While Keeping Your Full-Time Job, Drop me a private message and I'll be more than happy to send you that ebook. Have a great evening, guys. Love you loads. Bye for now. Thanks for your support.